Welcome to the latest Tempo Storm Meta Snapshot. Time flies in Hearthstone because Wild has just received its newest expansion, Caverns of Time. The set brought 113 buffs and 34 new cards to Wild for a massive shakeup. This shakeup didn't come in the form most of you might be thinking, though. Most of the buffs and new cards in Caverns of Time target older decks that haven't received much love over the years or never had their time in the spotlight during their days in Standard. Decks like Jade Rogue and Cthune Warrior come to mind. These decks don't have a place at the forefront of the Wild metagame, meaning the support does little to shake up the format. Fortunately, Wild doesn't need a lot of cards to turn the metagame on its head. With a few nudges, a deck can run amok with newfound synergies and skyrocket to the top. Our latest top deck did exactly that. Discard Warlock has once again risen to become public enemy number one. Its newest enabler is Chamber of Visitus, which allows players to cycle through their entire deck at lightning speed while activating powerful discard effects. Sprinkle in some newly buffed cards like Silverware Golem and Tiny Knight of Evil, and it's easy to see how games can quickly get out of hand. The rest of Tier 1 should be familiar to most. Frog Shaman has risen to the second spot thanks to its excellent matchup into Discard Warlock. It's one of the few decks capable of keeping Gul'dan and other aggressive decks at bay right now. After that are Mech Paladin and even Shaman. Buffs haven't had as large an impact on these two decks as they did on Discard Warlock, but they don't have that much to complain about either. Both archetypes are long established with some of the strongest synergies ever presented in the wild format. Unlike the last time it dominated, Discard Warlock doesn't have a way to clear wide boards with a single card either. A few buffs and a new draw engine aren't enough to shake off the influence these decks have on the metagame this time. Tier 2 is where things get more interesting again. At the top is another new deck, Even Warrior. Unlike most decks that received buffs, Even Warrior's improvements came from outside of Caverns of Time. Bladestorm, Stoneskin Armorer, and Trial by Fire all saw their mana costs shaved by one. Discard Warlock's rise to the top has also helped Garish return to a competitive state in Wild. The favored matchup makes up for some of Even Warrior's shortcomings against slower decks in the format. Also in Tier 2 is Mech Rogue. The deck has been galvanized by Timeline Accelerator, a new card from Caverns of Time. The deck is already one of the most explosive in the game thanks to the amount of mana cheat it's capable of, and the new mech supercharges it to finish games faster than ever before. Finally, we have a sleeper pick in Tier 2, Aggro Priest. The deck isn't seeing much play just yet, but Caverns of Time gave it some love in the form of new cards and buffs. If the deck were to see its play rate increase, we wouldn't be surprised if it succeeded in this metagame. Want to find more info on how to take on the discard Warlock Menace? Check out our full meta report at tempostorm.com for a comprehensive breakdown on the wild metagame, where we provide all of the information needed to gain an edge over the competition. As always, thank you for watching.